My name is Rebecca. I am 27 and I am an associate pastor. Uh, so I want to share with you today uh, the most unexpected part of leadership uh, that I've experienced, uh, as well as a couple of the challenges I face as a woman in leadership, how I've overcome them. And then I just want to leave you with one or two pieces of advice uh, that I think are essential for emerging leaders. So um, the most unexpected part of leadership that I've experienced is actually something that I was taught over and over and over again in my leadership classes that I would experience. And that would be uh, that not everyone is going to like you. And so I understood the concept. Uh, and I had met some people over the years that I didn't like really care for. But in general, up to this point, I had been able to get along with almost everyone I met. And I've met some pretty, uh, we'll just call them tricky people. I've, I've met some kind of bristly people. Um, but I've been able to get along with just about every person I've met. So uh, when I came into this position of leadership, uh, it was pretty clear from the beginning that there were, uh, you know, at least a few people who because of my position or for whatever reason, just didn't seem to like me. Uh, and no matter what I tried, no matter how I tried to kick on my inner woo, uh, it wasn't working. Uh, and so I had to come to terms with the fact that not everyone was going to like me. Uh, we, we understand, again, we understand the concept that people won't like you, but we don't understand what it feels like to have people openly disagree with your leadership or openly disagree with how you do things, um, sometimes out loud, sometimes in front of a group of people. Um, and you still have to be kind and loving and compassionate. You still have to lead those people. Um, so probably the most unexpected part of leadership I've experienced is leading people who don't like you. Um, and trying to do that well, and trying to do that with a sensitive heart, and uh, and not take everything personally. Because apparently, as I've learned, and some of you have learned or will learn, uh, not everyone will like you. Um, so a couple of the challenges that I have faced as a woman in leadership, I, I can think of two main challenges, and one of those challenges is that there is this overwhelming kind of stereotype, and, and I honestly don't know how many people really think this way nowadays, um, but we've kind of generated this stereotype over, over the years that um, women in leadership are domineering, they are bossy, or they are loud, or they are um, difficult to work with. Um, and I'm really grateful to work in a church that accepts my leadership and accepts my role really well. Um, but one challenge I face is that because I've heard all of these stereotypes growing up, because I've heard of the negative perception of women, uh, sometimes it's difficult for me to lead in the strength that I need to in the, um, I, I wouldn't say amount of force, but kind of to, I suppose the best way to say it is rise up in strength. Um, and so sometimes I'm probably more passive than I need to be uh, because I am trying to break a stereotype. I'm trying to fight against a stereotype that honestly, I'm not entirely sure everyone has actually put on me. Um, but that can be difficult as uh, as a young woman to kind of silence the lies. Uh, I recently asked a girl who had a very similar position to mine when, when she was first out of college, uh, how she dealt with that. I asked her, was it hard for you leading as a single female in a church, and a young single female in a church? And she said something to me like, I just made it a non-issue. And so I've been taking that advice and I've just learned to kind of make it a non-issue. Uh, if I come at my, if I come at leadership uh, fearing that people are, are going to respond poorly to me, then I might not lead with the exact confidence that I need. Um, so I've just learned to be confident in my uh, position, to be confident in 
uh, what God's asked me to do. The other challenge that I face, um, and this one has been more difficult for me because, again, my church does a really good job of being supportive of me as a woman, and I'm incredibly grateful for it. Uh, but I talk to a lot of people who don't go to my church. I talk to a lot of people from different churches, different denominations. Um, and so sometimes people will willingly, openly disagree with your position, or I should say my position, as a female in ministry and as a female pastor. Um, and so I have people who at any given point in time would be more than happy to sit me down and explain to me what the Bible says. Um, and I have also read those portions of scripture. I've also, uh, I suppose one of the ways that I've overcome this issue is I've listened to a lot of different, uh, teachings. I've read, uh, several different books, uh, just discussing the, um, role of women in the church, as well as kind of the context, uh, behind all these different passages that we're constantly battling back and forth about, um, and one thing that I just have to remind myself is God has called you to do what you're doing. Uh, it's God who's the one who asked you. You didn't necessarily seek out this position. Um, so maybe just silence the voices uh, that are around you trying to tell you not to do what God's asked you to do and just focus on that. Um, and so I suppose one of the ways, or one of the biggest ways that I've also overcome uh, that issue of people coming against me as a woman in leadership is I've just reminded myself of who God's asked me to be and what he's asked me to do, which is really important. Um, and so one piece of advice that I have um, for, I suppose, in, that I think is essential for an emerging leader is that it could be difficult. Um I, leadership looked really cool to me for some reason. I was a student leader when I was in college, and I was involved in a lot of different positions. Um, that was when everyone still liked me. Um, but it can be difficult. Sometimes leading is going to feel like you are literally now Moses leading these whining Israelites through the desert. Um, for however long God has you there. Uh, so there can be really dry seasons in leadership. Um, so I just want to, I suppose, warn, if, if you choose to be a leader, it could be difficult. Um, it's not always cool. It's not always like the cool youth pastor that you see on stage or the cool public speaker um, speaking at conferences. Um, sometimes it's it's a lot of behind the scenes, really hard work and, and really difficult conversations and challenging moments. And you have to press on and do what you're supposed to do. Um, so if you're an emerging leader, um, be strong and uh, only do it if you know you're supposed to do it. Thanks.